Well, that was a bit of a look at the series so far. Writer Kay Miller joins me now. Kay, I love your stuff because you write the way people speak. Oh, thank you. Do you know you. what I mean? Thank and you. I think that's what draws us right in there and it's situations that we can all relate to. Well, I, I love people. I, lo I love people and I... I love, uh, particularly women, you know, I, 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 I was brought up sort of with, in a, a female household, so, mm -hmm. I you know, I loved listening to my mum and my aunties all chatting about life and things. And, I, you know, I, I, yeah, I do, I, I, love, I love listening to people. I think everybody's got a great story. They have, yeah. you're right, you absolutely, know, everyone. In a taxi, you know, somebody will tell you a story, a taxi driver, and immediately want to go home and write it, you know. Yeah, so that's where you get your material from everywhere. Yeah, yeah, but that's why it rings true, that's the oh. thing about you. you your writing always rings true. Thank you. And, and that's not the same with everyone else. And the thing is, actors can't do their job if they don't have the materials, if they yeah. don't have the, the good writing, you know? Oh. How on earth can they do it? Thank you. Well, I like to write about ordinary people. Yeah. Sometimes in extraordinary situations. That's what I, that's what I do. That's what I think I do best. And, you know, I, it's not crime. There's nobody killed in no. it. I, I try and kind of keep things positive and, uh, you know, life-enhancing if I can. Mm. No, very much so. And what mm -hmm. I love about it is these situations, like Fat Friends, yeah. um, it's unlikely groups of people, how they, people that probably wouldn't have met any other way, yeah. you know, they, they will meet, like, in the maternity ward or the yes. labour ward or yeah, yeah. You know, antenatal ward or whatever. You, you know, that's when they can all come together. And sometimes these relationships that, that, that are bonded at times of, you know, troubled, troubled yeah. times, if you like, or difficult times in your life, life-changing, they go on for, for, the, you know, for life, really. Yeah. No, I mean, I, you know, I'm friends with Linda, who I met when I was three. She's my <laughs> lifelong friend, you know. Oh. I have a handful of friends, all from my childhood. I think that's really important as well. Mm. Now tell me this, Steven Spielberg oh, yeah. gives you a call and yeah. you said, oh, I'm awful sorry. <laughs> what happened? Well, uh, well, first of all, it, it was, um, I was in the hairdressers and my agent rang me to say, Steven Spielberg wants your cell phone number. <gasps> and oh, I was going, you'll have to take these foils out of my hair. <laughs> I'm going, turn the dryer <laughs> off immediately. Steven Spielberg's <laughs> going to ring. <laughs> And, uh, he, of course, he didn't ring that day, and he didn't ring the, over the weekend on the Monday. It was oh, bank no, holiday. Like yeah, I was, and I was going, oh, oh, he's not going to ring. Oh, oh. you know, I was, I was so built up. Yeah. And then we were going out on the Tuesday evening with some friends of ours, and um, the phone rings. It's on the, on the table. Anthony, my husband, picks it up, and he goes, it's America for you, like this. So I go, oh, right, America. And I go, hello, like this. And he goes, uh, hello, this is Steven Spielberg. I I, honestly, I was completely... Uh, and I, all, I, all I could say was, I can't believe you're ringing me. I can't believe you're ringing me. And he, and he kept saying, well, why wouldn't I ring you? He said, I've just watched the most amazing television programme. This was The Syndicate, the Syndicate Series course, 1. Of yes. He went, I just loved it. Me and my wife sat. We've watched it all. We couldn't put it down. We could put on the next right. one, the next one. He said, I want you to come over to America. And he said, I'm going to send a, uh, send a plane for you. You'll come over after Labour Day. I had no idea when Labour Day was. But no, but just say, yes, yeah, yeah, Stephen, that's going, fine. Fantastic, <laughs> wonderful, lovely. I can't believe you're ringing me. Fantastic, <laughs> lovely. I can't believe... I kept saying the same things over and over <laughs> again. And then he said, um, so that'll be about in, in, in about two weeks. Is that all right? And I went... Oh, I said, well, I, I start shooting in the club then. Yeah, <laughs> this was series of course, one yeah. of In the Club. And he went, oh, right. He said, well, after you finish that, you'll come over and we'll talk about movies. And mm. You can write me a movie and you can direct it. And and we'll, we, we would like to make, that was the crux of it, we would like to make our own in, uh, syndicate. Right, right. And, and they did, yeah. They made something called Lucky Seven, which was slightly different. But right. um, they made that and, you know, of course they do masses of it, though, so they did, like, 13 mm. episodes of that. But, you know, it wasn't quite the syndicate as I knew it. But, right. uh, but is that bubbling away? Could you go over and see Stephen? I, and yeah, oh, yeah, God, I should, have, I should be going over there this summer, actually, to see yeah. him. Yeah. <laughs> 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 he's, a, he's just a regular guy. It's just, he's, oh, me and Stephen. Yeah, I know. You know uh, uh, it's be brilliant, Kate. Yeah. That'd be fantastic. You know, I, I, I might like to do that at some point. I would but I, think I so. love being in England. I, yeah. And I love, I, I love British people. I love writing about English people, ordinary but people. people. Are people all the all the way over. So that, that's yeah. the thing. I mean, you've obviously connected with the likes of Steven Spielberg. I mean, if he loves it, then of course he knows a good thing when he sees it. So yeah. that's going to be great. And also James Corden, who's doing brilliantly oh, yes, over there. I know. That's an Shame. opportunity to, to catch up with him because it, you it really is. you really gave him his big break I, on I, Fat Friends. I, I did actually. I did because when I, I saw him actually in an advert, because I, I kept thinking who's going to play this part of this really chubby yeah. young fifteen year old lad, and uh, I saw him in a 
in a, my local cinema. It was um, in a, a pop advert. Oh, yes, I remember yeah, that. Yeah, I, I, I rang up my, <laughs> aide, uh, my casting director and I went, Can, is, is in a pop advert? I said, he's, he's got, like, ready-coloured hair. And she went, I'll find him. And they found him. They found him. And the rest is history. Yeah. He's now one of the most famous people in America. I know. Oh, it's fantastic. Oh, Get yourself I'm... over there with Stephen. Oh. Sit in that hot tub. You, Stephen, and James Corden. <laughs> I love it. It's wonderful. It's so, so good to see you. you. And obviously tonight, 9 o'clock, oh, BBC yes, please One. Watch, yeah. Of course. BBC One. Fantastic. Yeah, in the club. Thank you, Kate. Yeah. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you.